so now we define more generalized form of the sampling theorem for bandpass signal according to this there are two important statements which say n minus 1 times fs should be less than equal to twice fh minus b and n times fs should be greater than equal to twice fh this two statements together give us the generalized expression of the sampling theorem for the bandpass signal in this case fs is the required sampling frequency and we define it in the form of a range fh is the highest frequency in the signal b is the bandwidth of the bandpass signal which is fh minus fl and capital n in this case is nothing but an integer so n will be an integer now which value of n i should use and how to use this entire sampling theorem in terms of two statements to find the valid value of the sampling frequency is something we have to discuss now so i'll take the same example and find out because for this example we could not find the valid sampling frequency using the formula of 2fh minus fl so now let's use this generalized sampling theorem and find out what should be the valid sampling frequency i will start with some value of integer n let's say n equal to 3 later on you will understand how to choose the value of n there is no rule as such but there are some values of integers which will be valid and some values which will not be valid let's see what happens for n equal to 3 if n is 3 the first statement becomes 3 minus 1 times fs that will be 2fs less than equal to twice of fh in our example is 3.5 minus bandwidth is nothing but 1 megahertz so this is the first statement and according to that 2 2 will cancel out fh should be less than equal to 2.5 megahertz the second statement says that nfs n is 3 that means 3 fs should be greater than equal to twice fh twice fh will be nothing but 2 times 3.5 megahertz now this means fs should be greater than equal to 2 into 3.5 will be 7 divided by 3 will be 2.33 megahertz so we have got two conditions over fs one says that fs should be less than some value and second says that it should be greater than some values if we combine these two statements together in one statement then we get the complete range of valid values of sampling frequencies which say 2.33 megahertz should be less than equal to fs less than equal to 2.5 megahertz that means my fs must lie between 2.33 megahertz and 2.5 megahertz considering the values of 2.33 and 2.5 because there's an equality sign so as you can see that i can definitely not use fs equal to 2 megahertz because we had ruled it out before and any valid value of fs that can be available from this generalized sampling theorem has to be greater than 2 megahertz first example is 2.33 megahertz to 2.5 megahertz 